Speed chart presentation of Aura Minerals brought to you by stocks.com. Aura trades on the TSX under the ticker ORA. It's a Canadian technical stock to watch this week. This last week, stock held a bottom support level around $1.12, $1.13. They made a nice move. This week, of course, hasn't started that well. Two straight down days. But again, the play's right close to that support level. So this chart needs to stay on radar to make sure those levels hold and to see if it rolls back off of it and tries to take another run at this resistance at $1.27, $1.28. MACD's got a real nice uptrend, continually making higher lows. Not crazy about the way the histogram is trending back down towards zero, but as long as this uptrend stays intact and that support holds with the candles, not too concerned about the MACD and any very slight signs of bearishness. It's a nice look at the PPO ADX. A little bit of a loose pinch, but again, nice upward trend. ADX has worked its way back down low. Lots of room for it to add strength to a direction. Money flow index has all three components holding over top of 50. That's a nice bull chart look. Accumulation distribution, just be looking for it to hold that sort of a level. I don't want to see it go dropping back down. It's kind of in a channel. And right now, I just want to see that lower end hold. Shake and money flow is moving back towards zero. Right now, very neutral reading. CCI right around zero. Again, that's pretty neutral. Full stow tried to push its way through 50, kind of stalled out right there. Not getting a ton from that right where it is at this point. Tricks. Nice upward trend. RSIs, much like everything else, just sitting right around 50. That's kind of all to be expected. We always run through them anyways, make sure there's nothing glaring, jumping out at us, that's going to be really bullish or really bearish. Bottom support at $1.12 must hold. Top end of that channel, right there around $1.28. Those two spots over the last six months keep coming back in as support and resistance. And that's why this chart was put on radar as a technical stock to watch. When it's pushing on that upper end, you're watching for a volume spike to see if it can blow through it. And if it dips back down, you're just looking for it to hold that baseline again. Of course, if it falls through that support, you really have to look all the way back down near this area of under a dollar. Pick up another support level. But if it can take out the top, pretty nice upside to the next resistance around a dollar fifty-four. Two hundred day moving average be coming into play there. But what I'd be watching for is if it goes up and hits it, can it come back down, finally make a new higher low, continue to trend over top the fifty day moving average? perhaps consolidate a little bit, and then try and take out that resistance again. Because the next level beyond that is coming in up around this $1.75 mark. All in all, though, a pretty technically sound chart right now, and one worth keeping on watch to see how it performs from here. As always, it's merely my interpretation of the ORA chart. I'm not a financial consultant. I strongly encourage you to do your own property diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure and do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by Allpenny Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.